Welcome, welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2. Just like it looks so low audio wise, but I think it's because I'm not talking loudly. Because my nephew and his friends are still out in the pool. Just like, you just think, then why not just close the bloody window? Well, you see, there's a problem. Well, it's only the little window, but the problem is it's so freaking hot that I need all the fresh air I can possibly have to keep me cool, which isn't working. Because I am just like... I'm like Lee Evans, if you've ever heard of him. After, at the end of a gig, just covered in sweat. It's horrible. The heat is intense. And it's just like... America will be like, oh, that's nothing, those temperatures. The thing is, we don't have, like, shit like air conditioner or anything. We have to rely on fans. We don't usually get hot temperatures. Very mild temperature country, you know? Also, I keep forgetting to mention, it's only been, this is only the third part, but they're, they're like doing remaster versions now, aren't they? And I haven't really been paying much attention to it, because I care, but don't care at the same time, if that makes any sense. It's like, I want to play the remaster version when it's been released, but until then, I don't care that much. Besides, it's the first one they're going to be doing first, and I didn't play that back in the day, I've since played it. And uh, I, I, it's alright, I guess, but... Heck, even when the games are released, I won't be able to play them anyway, because it'll be like... <coughs> oh, you need a PS4 for this, and I still don't own one. Maybe they'll be, <coughs> be released on PC as well, but... Again, I probably wouldn't be able to get it to run on my freaking laptop. Gotta go back to Idle Springs at the end of this part as well. <laughs> to pick up the last of those uh, underwater gems and clear the last orb challenge. We're going to Colossus first. Like the sound of the gems. <laughs> that goes like, what the hell? I guess the goat must have headbutted him, his friend. I like the weird music in this level, like it's like Spyro's expression. It's like what the hell is that music? It's like a lot of the music, if you listen to it back to back, has a similar sound. But there's some levels like this one where you're just like, what is going on here? Kind of thing, you know. A yeti has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. To get the talisman for this level, you just have to make it safely to the exit. <laughs> you broke the fourth wall, man. <laughs> to get the talisman for this level... Not our world or anything. No, this level. I burned your flag for breaking the fourth wall. I was gonna burn it anyway, but whatever. So, like, uh, what was I gonna say? I heard, like, uh, Stuart Copeland actually played through the levels to get an idea of what the music for the levels was gonna be. That's an interesting way of composing. That kind of makes a lot of sense, you know? If I was a video game composer, I would totally do that. Just like you gotta have a certain feel for each level. I mean, say for example, there's like, we haven't been to Sunny Beach yet, but Sunny Beach has a very distinct sound to it that makes you think of the beach. Because, you know, it has a bit of a kind of surfer vibe going on to it. But if you put that in this level, it would feel out of place. And if you've bought. Uh, like the, the other way around with this music in Sunny Beach level, it would be out of place there as well. So, you know, it's kind of nice Each, you know, fee it fits the theme of the level Same with movie soundtracks, you gotta you compose it so that it fits the scene Sometimes some composers make it so that it doesn't really fit at all by concentrating, I should be able to open this door for you. 
Yai, yai, yai. The door's open. Leave me alone. I'm trying to meditate. Music. <laughs> It's it's like it's like they're meditating while constipated. <laughs> Imagine if animals moved like that, just hopped on the spot. Whoa! I want to just show you what happens to Spyro if he plops on him. Uh, sir, sir. Sir, sir, I'm right here. <laughs> when you want them to crush you, they just they just don't even acknowledge you. The key when you know how to chant like this. How am I supposed to achieve enlightenment if you keep pestering me? Now what do you do for enlightenment? Just stand around in a daze? Flat as a pancake. That's why I went to the show. Now you must die. Enemies like those yaks are too big to be charged. Your flame attack should easily take care of large enemies. Just like, we know this, Zoe. Only the third level, but we already know this from the first level. I've already explained this stuff. Just like all oh, bigger enemies, you gotta flame them. And some enemies, like I think the yeah, uh, the, the goats can be hit either way with either attack. But you saw the ones in Idle Springs that had the flame shield that you have to charge them instead. You get enemies like that. And finally, we see a portal that isn't fully powered up yet. Each time you defeat an enemy, it will release a spirit particle. The spirit particles will activate the power-up in that world. If a power-up is inactive, you need to defeat more enemies. So yeah, if you haven't defeated the required amount, it will just show you how many you need in total. And as you see in the top right screen, now we got six. So we still got five to go. Now four. It's not really that difficult. It's pretty simple. Simple stuff. Hey, look what I can do! Why, 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 why? Well, I think this is a level that I can actually 100% on the first try. I don't think we got any more kind of bullshit where it's like, oh no, you have to come back with a certain ability. Remember Hunter's advice? You will glide farthest if you press the X button at the very top of your jump. Yeah, but I gotta go back to pick up some gems. No, actually, I'll just leave it. We'll be going back for you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even really need a good glide for that. That's an easy jump to make. Yeah, you can flame them, charge them. Oh, did it wrong that time. First time we're in the green. You can see in some levels there's more than one power up. They're the same power up, but they're in more than one spot for them. This is the end of the level, but let's not go through it yet. Or do we have to? Is 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 it mandatory? I don't think so. Another one of those that you can bust open. Well, I wasn't expecting to land on this. Well, uh, that kind of at least makes the jump sort of work. Excuse me. 
Excuse me. Going off for the power up now. What is the power for this level, you may wonder? Oh, blue one! Extra life! It's a spring! And we still can't get up there. And that's why there's another one up here, so you can get up there. You know what, I wonder, actually. I don't think I've ever seen this before, actually. Because the Yeti is inside that building there. And I'm wondering, what happens if we access him before actually getting there? Actually, probably just the just same thing happens. Wait. Wait, that's closed off. Ooh. Okay, gonna have to glide across there when we come back through here. Picking up gems, you can't jump while on ice, by the way. So that's a bit of a pain now. Ah, Spyro, welcome. We have found that hockey is a Peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? It's way too cold now. Oh, yes, please. You have two minutes to score five goals in the red goal. This is a pain in the ass, depending. It just depends, really. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. It's because it's on ice, and you know how ice physics works. Or rather, how it doesn't tend to work. And the camera moves so slow here. How many goals did he see about the score? Was it five or something like that? It's not hard to score a goal, but it is a bit of a pain in the ass at the same time to control. There's an invisible crowd cheering. Oh, psych! Very easy to catch them out. So it's not hard. It's just these really... And, and you see that? There's a real small window for that. So, yeah, it can be a pain in the ass just to pick up the bloody puck. Ah, oh, that was terrible. We've got plenty of time. Okay, maybe not. Let's, let's, let's just be a bit quicker. Ah, damn. Damn it. Damn it, damn. Am I really going to fail this after saying it was easy? Just don't go right up in the goal because he will block it. Oh, it's so hard to catch. It's getting intense. Will Spyro score? Will he score? Will he score? Will he? Will he? Oh, and it's him. Yes, and the crowd goes mild. Well done. Have this. They may be wondering that wasn't so bad. Well, here's the catch. Would you like to try a game of one on one? Yes, one on one. The first to score five goals wins. You are shooting at the red goal. Off you go. We're gonna have an opponent. There's one upside to this, though. I will demonstrate it 
You can flame him, so you can temporarily stop him. The trouble is, though, our goalkeeper sucks. If this guy gets there, we we really are screwed, essentially. I mean, he'll only he'll score a goal and all that, but I don't want him to score any goals, you know? As you can see, he can also charge us, so I don't feel bad flaming his ass. Ah, so finicky. See what I mean about our goalkeeper? He shits. He couldn't catch anything. But look at this guy, though. He catches his one. So yeah, it's gonna be a pain in the ass, because camera is just not on your side the majority of this game. And our girl keeper doesn't even pass it to us. Flames! Fuck, got too close. There we go. This one doesn't have a time limit, so... That's one positive thing about this. God damn it, this ice physics sucks. And but it's a, like the, the CPU doesn't have to worry about the shitty ass camera angles. There's another one involving Hunter. It's not like a game like this, but uh, do you see uh, I was right on it. You see what I mean though? The camera in some of these freaking games sucks ass. <laughs> well, that was, that was funny. Just falling on his ass and his own goalkeeper's goal. Flame! Like, why do you pass it to us, you idiots? Just passing it to the other goalie all the time. Keep to yourself, red guy. Shit. Yeah, that one sit fell further apart, but somehow it got in. It makes no sense. Camera is so bad. Persistent goal that was. Well done! Have this! If you stare at it long enough, you might not see anything. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a good thing though. Keep practicing if you want, but you have to be off the ice by six. Right, we got another uh, three hours then. Wait, no. It's currently 4 p.m. Look, he even sucks on that. Then again, it's because it's just the one guy here. You see that he's charging me. I'm not even on the field, asshole. Well, how did I miss this gem? But anyway, it's like 4 p.m. as I'm... Uh, Recording so they got another two hours of shooting at a goalie that's incompetent. Oh, I see. That's how you get across. But you may be wondering, oh, go to clear the area. No, 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 there's still yet another challenge. Just go around here, I think there's some gems somewhere. Yes, here they are. It's the professor! Oh, thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away. But now it will hide in the statues. If you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good. And I'm not sure. Is that the SpongeBob voice actor? Because I know he's in this game. But this guy might be voice acted by him. I think might. Maybe. 
So we gotta flame all the golden statues, because the ghost is hiding in them. If you want to get rid of that evil spirit for good, you must flame all the statues. I'm sorry, I thought you were one of them. There's one. Two. The ghost is not happy by that. He looks a bit... Uh, I like that nose. Cozy. We get to see it this time. How satisfying. I kinda think that I didn't even pick up the gems in that other level, did I? One hidden over here, this is one that I overlooked. Kinda looks like a Muppet, doesn't he? Yeah, I see one over there. See, I told you we be coming back through here. Ah, I always miss one. I think I'm overlooking one somewhere. I'm overlooking two. What? Why is he still over here? You've scared the evil spirit away! Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. Yeah, they don't need it. Does anyone really? Well, I guess we technically do, but... Got all the orbs already! First level fully cleared of the orbs. I'm glad that evil spirit has gone. It was giving me the heebie-jeebies, I can tell you. Oh, not the heebie-jeebies. I like how they teleport you back when you clear a, a challenge. I can't remember if Spyro 3 had that taken out for whatever reason. I think it did anyway. It's like you clear a challenge but you still have to travel all the way back to them. Or maybe, maybe it wasn't the case and I can't remember. Where the hell am I going now? Oh, over here. Now we can clear this level. 
Even though I'm a vegetarian, I think you should kill that yeti. He's pretty tough though. In fact, I'm not so sure you're up to it. I don't know why it says you should torch that yeti, but he clearly said out loud, I think you should kill that yeti. It's like, that's not child friendly. It's like, it's like they did that with the text, but forgot to change the voice acting. It's like, whoops. So yeah, tossed your flag. Even oh, that wasn't it. I'm a vegetarian. I think you should kill that kill yeti. yeti. You're not a pacifist at all. Vegetarian said he was, but does that? Does that just make you down eat meat? One idiot. I thought the yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. <laughs> anyway. I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. You know, when the text says, I thought the Yeti was tougher than that, I guess he was all bark. Anyway, I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. But he laughed. It's like, makes me wonder if in the script, they didn't have the laugh bit in it with the voice actor. Just be like, oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> just ad libs. I don't know, maybe they did have laughter in the script. But not in the text. Got the talisman, and we're gonna get all the gems. And we get a little jingle for completing a level 100%. So that's nice. Now, time for the outro movie. Impressive, but dangerous. As you just demonstrated. Just like, ah, oh, well, you can be alright, I'm sure. There's a lot of casual murder on the NPC's part, if you ask me in this game. Like, characters that'll just, like, casually throw each other off a cliff or something. And just be like, oh, ha ha ha. Wait, you just killed that guy, didn't they? Like, what? We can't actually 100% glimmer yet because of the climbing thing, but we could without it, but I'm not going to do that. But I'm going to clear the rest of this Idle Springs. You can see at the top there, you can press triangle to replay the intro if you would like to see it instead. I've already been here, I don't care. Out the way. I can swim now. I'm not very good at it, but I can at least swim. Must find all gems, can't interact with fishies. You know, how is it that Spyro doesn't drown? I mean, I, know, I get that he can learn how to swim, but how come he doesn't drown? Ever. Does he know how to breathe underwater? I don't know. I suppose it's possible. Or he has a bubble, an invisible bubble, like Sparks, who has an actual bubble, but I don't know, it doesn't make sense. At least to me. Wait, oh yeah, we didn't get the gems from that thing, did we? So that's why. I've been locked in here with all our tools! And the giant idol heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. You know, he, this guy must know how to swim, you know, because how did he get in here otherwise? And at the same time, he claims to be stuck in here, but once we solve this one puzzle, of the three puzzles, so it's not even all of them yet, you'll, you'll find him that he's teleported somehow. Maybe he's like the Colossus guys and has like some super meditating power. I kind of think of it, that's plausible, they look like they're the same, they got the same character kind of portrait. These ones are just a little under the well and become green. It's like, oh, I feel ill, oh, I, I've become a foreman, that's why. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, <laughs> Ironic. come back and talk to me. It's like, compared to the Colossus guys who look exactly like them, but they're yellow. These ones are green. There are like some characters that kind of look the same, you know? Like pretty much every character in this level looks identical to each other. But they just have different names. 
think they're all voice act by the same guy as well. So you gotta solve some puzzles. Jump on the blocks to change their color to yellow. Nah. I forget how this puzzle works. I think it's just trial and error, really. Just go around the edges. Wow, Spyro, you did it! I mean, I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. So I'll teleport there, even though I claim to be stuck in the air. Wow, Spyro, you did it! I mean... I mean, wow, I'm gonna teleport to the pond. See? He's teleported. How does he do it? Oh, that's still open. His idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Flame fish to feed the idol. The idol is very picky. It doesn't explicitly say, but it's red fish that he doesn't like. So you just stand here and shoot fish into his mouth. Not the red ones. Trouble is, the red ones like that can become quite frequent, so don't, you know, hit the button all the time. Like constantly, because that would be reckless. See, sometimes the red ones can be quite persistent. So you gotta be a little more cautious. Because if he gets the red ones, he'll spit them out. Actually, I'll demonstrate how much he spit out. Spit out about two or three. So yeah, just avoid doing that and everything will go well and nice and dandy old. How many fish are even here? See, three red, four red fish in a row. It's persistent with a red fish. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. I don't know, man. That that thing does not look happy with the fish. Maybe it is. And his eyes are just raised in an unusual way. It's like, I'm just going to stand here, but I'll teleport once you get there. Okay, Spyro, just... So don't have to break open that thing again. Ah, I can't get up there to buy that, but still maybe? Come on, Sparks! 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 Get towards them for God's sake. There we go. All the jams. Shields. Flame. Open this door. Didn't even need to hit you, but I did anyway, because why not? This guy is so slow. I'll help you. Open the door, sir. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Here we go over there, I'm gonna talk to her with the foreman. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. It doesn't even tell you what one it is. 
What a dick. What does he? If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I'm not gonna tell you what the first one is, though. If you jump on these stones in the... Is that how- well, actually... Uh, Huh. No. If you is there an actual pattern to this, or is it trial and error? If you, if you jump on these, stuff will happen, and eventually you'll figure it out. If you That's not the correct one, Spyro. You know what, if this is like just going around the circle and it's dumb. Nope, it isn't. Now he takes us all the way back here. Nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. Dragon is usually dumb. Shiny thing I found in our toolbox. Only two orbs in this area. Yay, we win! Success. And we gotta go. Oh, well, we could actually exit the level via the pause menu, but. I'd rather just exit the level how it's supposed to be. By rushing through it. Ow. 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 As you can see, you can get the orbs and talismans and all that jazz all over again, but you've already got them. Just came here to flame your flag and be on my way. Man, my legs. They ache. Care yeah. for a sausage. And everyone lived happily ever after. Until they stole his sausage, then he killed them all. The ends. Area complete. Let's have a look at our guidebook so far. 61, 84, 100, 100. Oh, actually. Before I wrap this up, there is another one. Another orb. That I haven't collected in this area. Uh, which no, it's it's in the other area over there. Hunter still has not spawned. Because we couldn't swim till now, so we can also go for a The sound of gems make tender clacking. And what is what makes that sound? Seriously, how many gems we got? Now we have. Oh wait, there's still. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, the climbing one. Forgot about that. It's like oh spoilers. Well, you need to climb to get to it. So we've done we've done well for ourselves so far. Cleared out most of the area.
Nice place, isn't it? So, that leaves us with three more levels, four including the speedway, and we will unlock the final boss. The speedway is optional in that regard. We'll go to Hurricanes first because I think that's the order on the guidebook. But we'll do that in the next part. So, see you next time, viewers. See you next time.